Oh. See, I knew it. I didn't want it to be like super dark. Do you think it's dark? It looks dark, but we'll see how it is tomorrow. <laughs> this thing is so filthy from the trip we just took. Stay tuned for that detailing video. Alright, so we are currently on the way to pick up the IS350 F Sport, the 2023 Lexus IS350 F Sport. My bad, let me get it right. And uh, you already know what we're gonna do, man. The first thing you gotta do when you get a car, you gotta get the tint done. done a really good job especially with the front end like the thing looks super aggressive and um, the spec that Zay got the wheels are sick she has BBS wheels on it a few little things to that car and it's gonna be looking so good and who knows uh, I don't know what cars are in the IS350 Sport class but we'll see if we can get some fair runs in with it and just see what it could do I mean we might as well you know why not gotta get them comparisons in we'll see if Zay's down all right let's get a little look at how disrespectfully filthy this thing is right now we just got back and we took the uh, scenic route and as you can see so many bugs so many bugs on that route People are probably looking at this car like, this dude is really driving an M4 like that? But don't worry, I'm gonna wash it ASAP. You can't tell me this thing doesn't look gorgeous. Sheesh. Oh, here comes the star of the show, look at this. <laughs> All right, the last time you guys are gonna see it with the fishbowl appearance, look at the BBSs. All right, let's hop up in this thing and go for a ride. Such a vibe in here, wow. You ready to get rid of this fishbowl? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> I was just telling everybody how we're gonna put the exhaust on this thing, the carbon fiber splitter, nah, 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 the nah. carbon fiber lip, the nah. side skirts. That's the literally fuse. like two car payments, no. What? Mm -mm. We got to though. Mm -mm. No? Jesus, she'll come around, she'll come around, don't worry. So how you liking it, Zay? You've officially had it for what, like, three four days now mm -hmm. it's really good it's just a gas guzzler it's a gas guzzler she came from the uh, four-cylinder turbo to a six to a v6 all wheel all wheel drive yeah and it's definitely all wheel in its way to the freaking gas station <laughs> <laughs> look Zayna's already at 400 miles she ain't wasting no time she literally had seven miles like three days ago if you didn't see the you know first drive that I initially did with it and the one that Zay initially did with it, go back and check those videos if you want to see the initial you know reactions and reviews on the vehicle. But getting back into it, this thing is super smooth. That's like you know the main thing that sticks out is just how smooth it is. What it's do you think? Nice. Yeah. You like it? Honestly, it's like a it's a really nice drive. I think it has a lot of cool features too. So like if you want just like even if you do sport mode, it's still smooth, but it's more fun to drive. Like yeah, yeah, if it's you more aggressive. Prefer, yeah. The steering wheel gets tighter the more levels of sport because there's sport and then there's sport plus. Yeah, yeah. So if you want sport plus. Oh, we in sport to, plus right now? This is sport plus. Wait, when I initially drove it I put it in sport plus, right? Or did I? I don't know. Wow, I might not have. I think that's cool though. You have levels to the to the drive, you know? Yeah, and the other one, like I don't know what um, option that was, but the other F Sport, it was pretty much the same. It wasn't all-wheel drive, but it didn't have Sport Plus. No, 
which is weird. And you could like really feel the change in the steering um, when you put it in Sport Plus too. Just like, you know, the Scat had that, the M4 has it. Like all these type of vehicles have that for the most part. I love it. You love it? Yeah. No buyer's remorse? I knew that was coming. This thing sounds good. Oh, and I also seen a feature. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do it. It lets you hear the exhaust more in the cabin. Somewhere over here, I was watching a video. Maybe it's this? I know. <laughs> but another thing we're gonna do as well, something that you guys can look forward to, is we're gonna teach Zayna how to use the paddle shifters. Oh yeah, I wanna learn. Will I then be able to drive yours? No, it's a little different. Uh -huh. It's a little different. Mine has a clutch and you know, a couple other, you know, things that you gotta worry about. But we're gonna try to find a car that I could teach Zayna how to drive like a legit manual and then I'll let her drive the M4. And I know you guys wanna see that. We just had to find, you know, like a reasonable car to teach her on because ain't nobody learning how to drive manual on an M4. I initially learned how to drive manual on my Challenger. I bought it brand new. It was like a 2011 and I never knew, I never drove manual before, but I told them, I was like, yeah, I know how to drive manual. And I was over there stalling and everything, but I taught myself. Speaking of the paddle shifters. Ooh. I like that. This uh, lights up as well when it's time to shift. Louis getting more views on the Lexus than the M4. What do you think? What do I think? I mean, I played with the title a little, you know what I'm saying? I said, and sold the M4 for a Lexus IS. Yeah, but that's not sold the M4 isn't what got people to click. It was Lexus IS that got people to click. What is it? In other words, <laughs> he's gonna switch his channel to, Maybe to the Lexus <laughs> IS channel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Lexus will be the new theme of the channel and the M4 will be the backup. That's what I'm saying. We gotta put the exhaust and we gotta like do all the 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 lift, the side skirts, the diffuser. Oh. Lower it, slam it to the ground. No, no, not slam it to the ground. No, but you're down to lower it though, right? A little bit. Yeah. You gotta it's get ready. Really that wheel gap is like... Yeah, this thing is a monster truck. Yeah. Like Lexus wheel gap is wild. The one thing I will say that I just noticed, there's really nowhere to put your phone though. Right here. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you have something like that, but like if you don't have nothing like that, yeah. like I could put it back here, I guess. I was wondering if there's like for the screen to go down. No. Doesn't go down. Really? Yeah. What if I don't want it? <laughs> You're stuck with it. These really? ones don't go down. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, these ones don't go oh, down. Oh, that's big. Yeah, from the back. Yeah, big the from hell? the back, huh? I guess, I mean, you could put your phone back here. It's just like a little inconvenient. Usually there's a place in cars where you could put your phone, you know? Right here, maybe? That's true. Yeah, right there. Don't. Yeah, don't take some drive. Lexus is actually like very known for that. Like, yeah, the safety feature. Yeah. All right, so let's get one last look at the fishbowl that we got here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna tint the windshield like we did on the M4. I think we did, it wasn't too dark. I don't remember, but I'm gonna talk to my guy right now. And then on the windows, since it's already pretty dark, like we got a dark theme with the black wheels and everything, the black accents. We're not gonna go too crazy dark. Plus you got the red interior. So you want people to be able to see that a little bit. So we're not gonna go all the way dark. I think what we're gonna do is maybe 20% on the front and the rear. We're gonna do the same on both. And then maybe in the back, we'll do 5%. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe we'll just keep it all the same all the way around because also another thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap these eventually Black because she doesn't like the chrome look and neither do I I think it would look better Just all blacked out. So yeah, that's the plan right now All right, so next time we see this thing is gonna be looking totally different you guys 
will be surprised. I mean, I'm sure you already know how much just a simple tint does to a vehicle. Sorry, Zay, I would let you do the honors of taking this thing off, but you know, we gotta take it off to get the windshield tinted. Three hours later. All right, you see we lost a little light, but we got light in there, so let's see how this thing turned out. What do you think, Zay? Are you hyped? Are you hyped to see it? You're gorgeous. Oh, what do you think? Needed that. Wow, it looks dark though, huh? Yeah. yeah See, I knew it. Especially at night, it's gonna look a lot darker. Yeah. Wait, so is the back? This is um. It's the point. Oh yeah. yeah. Damn, it looks dark. Probably yeah. maybe because of the car. Yeah. We'll yeah. see it in during the day tomorrow and see how yeah, it looks. Yeah, I didn't want it to be like super dark in the back. I wanted it to be like you know. Yeah. Like, it looks good though, huh? Yeah. yeah. What do you think, good. Zay? Is it too dark or what? No. Huh? It's crazy how much a tint would, yeah. especially on a car like this, because the wheels are dark and then the color with that, and then you got the black right here on the the yeah. mirrors. Yeah, the black trim. Good, huh? <laughs> Fire. Do you think it's dark? It looks dark, but we'll see how it is tomorrow. <laughs> it looks pretty dark, but nah, you'll be good. Let's see her pull it out. Oh, for sure, yeah. I let her know. All right, bro, later. Sheesh. Can't even see you. How's it looking there, Zay? It looks, it's good. It's nice. It's nice? Yeah. You can see? I was, ex I was expecting it to be a little lighter. You know? Maybe because it's like yeah. dark. It does it's look pretty dark. dark. The next morning. All right, so it is a day later because we ran out of sunlight last night, as you guys seen. But here is the car. I like it. I think it's looking good. Yeah. What do you think, Zay? It looks good. You like it now? Yeah. Last night it was just like really dark, and I just wasn't really going for that like dark vibe. Um, but this is perfect. I, I like it. She was kind of iffy about it last night. She was like, uh, no, no. like when you first saw it, it was like, oh my god, like it looked way better. But then <laughs> once you like, we're really, it just wasn't what I was going for, like the super dark, dark like tint, you know? Because she has the red seat, she has the red guts, so she wants people to be able to see her in there with the red guts not, and everything. Not you know seeing me, I'm just saying you gotta do the car <laughs> justice, you know? Yeah, no, I feel you. But I feel see, you. like you could kind of see it a little bit. Like, yeah, I sense. think I think it looks good. Yeah. Honestly, I like. You guys already know mine is like you can't see anything in there really i like it dark but honestly like in the daylight now that we have the sun yeah, it doesn't it's look nice. as dark obviously because there's sun yeah but, but it's really nice you like it zay yeah what y'all think is it too dark is it not dark enough drop a comment down below let us know ask them too like what should we do should we not black these out yeah that's another thing is um considering wrapping this you know the chrome delete get rid of the chrome just make it all black i don't know because it's already dark with the dark wheels the tint i think it'll look good i think it'll look good with the chrome delete just because if you look at the m4 it's all black around you know everything and it looks good so on this one i don't know what do you guys think i think it'll look good though 